Hey guys, welcome back to Nova Kids Online. I'm Teacher Matt. I hope you had a great week. Mother's Day on Sunday, I hope you had a chance to celebrate mom and then had a great week after that. By now you've probably heard the news. There is no going back to school this year. I know, I know. But anyways, I hope you're enjoying learning from home. I know it's a challenge uh, and can be difficult, but I think you're doing a great job. I'm very proud of you. Hey, listen, do me a favor this week. Take a moment, say thank you to your teacher, maybe your mom, dad, or whoever's helping you with school at home because it is a big job. But I'm very proud of you guys for getting this done. Uh, a few weeks to go, uh, but, but take a moment to say thank you to whoever's helping you. Um, today, in Nova Kids, we're gonna continue our lesson on do you remember? That's right, determination. Uh, the, the theme is getting unstuck and determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you start. Now speaking of determination, I thought I'd do something fun this week. So I decided to have a little bit of a challenge with a couple guys that you might know, Teacher Dean and Teacher Joel. So what we did is decided to do some exercise and have a jumping jack challenge. So we each got our phones out, we set it up uh, the other day and we recorded ourselves to see who could do jumping jacks the longest. Have you ever tried that? It is not easy. So uh, we're gonna show you uh, the video of us doing our jumping jacks and see who do it, does it the longest. Now, on the count of three, I want you to yell out who you think is gonna win, either Teacher Matt, Teacher Dean or Teacher Joel? One, two, three. Oh, you can be louder than that. Come on. I want you to say, one, two, three. Oh, so good. All right. Let's see who wins. Can you believe it? I won! Oh wow, I was so determined not to give up. But man, that was hard, seriously. Have you ever tried that? After church today, you should totally find someone in your house and challenge them to the competition. Um, make sure it's a good prize, but uh, give it a shot. It's not as easy as you might think. So, now we're gonna go and continue our lesson in determination. So, let's check out what the guys at the So and So Show are doing. Uh, maybe what kind of trouble they're gonna get into. Um, I won't let a secret out, but it might involve slime. Let's check it out. always start things like this? I don't know. Why? Hey, welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm John, and that's Brandon. Yes, I am. During today's show, anytime anyone asks a question, a bucket of something will be dumped on their head. Brandon, tell everyone all the shenanigans we're going to get into today. You bet, John. First, we got a someone who knows stuff. A boom! We got Kellen with an awesome Bible story. Double boom! Puppet Head Theater. Triple boom! And... Wait, wait, wait. wait. What comes after triple boom? Uh... Quadruple. Right. Yeah, quadruple. Boom. Thanks, Brandon. No problem, John. See, why did a bucket of rice just get dumped on my head? 
<laughs> what was it that time? Powdered sugar. Shredded cheese. I think I know what's happening. Oh yeah? What's happening? I think every time we ask a question, something gets poured on our head. I see. Yeah, but how do we, uh, you know, I mean, how... Uh, we ask questions all the time. We, we, we might as well not do the show if we can't ask questions. I know, but what about... Uh, uh, but people are counting on us to do the show. Yeah. Some of uh, the things we do on the show really matter. I mean, it's, it's, it's not always about having baked beans dubbed on your head. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Uh... Right, let's call it a day. No, no, you're right. We have got to keep going. Just don't ask any questions. I'll try. Why was it? Nope, not gonna ask it. I've got it. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Oh. Come on in here, okay, to grab that. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pull on in. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Some. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for coming to the show today. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Uh huh. So, who are you? We we would like to know your name and your area of expertise. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, so, my name is Dr. Ira Viscus, uh, and I'm here to answer any questions that you might have regarding chemical reactions. So, ask away. Uh. You go first, Brandon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, John. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Viscous, mm. do you have what I mean to say? You do have mm. a favorite chemical reaction that you like to demonstrate on occasion. I presume. Ah, oh, mm. mm, I do. <laughs> you do? Okay. <laughs> of course, now I, now I like all chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful, however, my favorite kind are the ones that create slime. <laughs> oh, no kidding, what kind of slime? Uh... Well, no. Oh, this is really good slime. It's the perfect consistency to drop on someone's head. <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, you see, the, the, the thicker slimes, they don't drop as fast, and they're pretty hard to get out of your hair, so you huh. keep it short. Oh, hey, hey uh, do you have any, uh, I mean, what I mean to ask, what to say, mm. is uh, in, in there, mm. in the, uh, mm. there, there's slime in there. Oh, there is some slime in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. that's, that's great, great. great. That's oh, awesome. awesome, what kind is this? Uh, cool. What? Oh! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, very nice. This is called the fluffy slime. It's created when you mix polyvinyl acetate with good old fashioned shaving cream. Feel it, it's very squishy. That's great. Oh, yeah, see, look, it's really great. Pulls like that and bounces. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, this is the classic slime, you see. It's amazing what a little sodium borate can do. Look at that. It's, oh, it's gooey. It's bleak. Yeah. <laughs> How long? Uh, uh, it must have taken you a long time to learn all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Lots of time, lots of school, lots of hard work and study. But when something's important to you, it's worth it for, for you to keep going, you know? So, do you know what I mean? Uh... 
Oh, 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 that's awesome! I love the slime! I love the slime! I, uh, I think I understand, Brandon. Yeah? We gotta make it through this show! It's worth it! Yeah! We've come this far, let's do it! Yes! Thanks for coming on the show, Dr. Viscous! Oh, you're welcome, it's my pleasure! I love the slime! Oh, and you can keep those! <laughs> wow, thanks! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, goodbye! Bye, Bye, see ya! Oh, oh, Hope you can oh. see me! <laughs> So, what, what happens, happens next? Uh, it's, it's Bible Story Time with Kellen! Hey guys! Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. I don't know. Seems pretty normal to me. Eh, all right. Well, I was gonna ask for your help to tell the Bible story, but if you're too slimy, oh, we're, we're good. good. Great. Then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Sometime after Jesus had been crucified, resurrected, and taken up to heaven, two followers of Jesus named Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Well, it's prayer time, John. We're almost at the temple. Hold on a minute. Look over there. As John and Peter were nearing the temple, they saw a man who had never been able to walk. Change? Spare some change for a poor man? I don't have any silver or gold, but I can give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. That's the problem. Oh, you can now. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Tell him, John. Whoa. Whoa! I can walk! Look at that! I can also jump! Whoa! And, and I can, I can dance! Go Jesus, go Jesus, go Jesus, you're the best. Sure. So the man followed Peter and John into the temple courtyard. People saw him walking and jumping and praising God and were amazed because they knew it was the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate. So Peter turned to the gathering crowd and said, I don't know why you're surprised. It's not as if we've made this man walk. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has done this. Tell him, John. When Jesus died on the cross, God raised him from the dead. We saw it with our own eyes. Tell him, John. It is faith in Jesus that has healed this man completely. And now you can see that with your own eyes. Watch. Go Jesus, go Jesus. Go Jesus, go Jesus. I'm gonna never stop dancing. Whoa. The priests of the temple were very upset with what Peter and John were saying about Jesus coming back from the dead. So they had them arrested and thrown into prison. The next day, Peter and John were brought to the high priest. You can't just go around healing people and talking about Jesus like that. Listen, when you nailed Jesus to a cross, God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that the man was healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. Tell him, John. Now you listen. You must never, 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 ever, 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 ever speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Don't do it. All right, let me think. Listen to you, listen to God. Listen to you, the high priest, or listen to God, the creator of the universe with the ability to bring someone back from the dead. That's a tough choice. Wait, no, it's not. Is that a tough choice, John? Uh. No, there is nothing else that we can do. Uh. We have to speak about what we've seen and heard. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you should definitely be punished though. I, I, I don't know how yet, but I'm going to think really hard about it. Now get out, get out. The high priest wanted to punish Peter and John, but they didn't want to upset the people who were still amazed at how God healed the man who couldn't walk. Dance party! Oh yeah! 
Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Show me your moves, John. Go! Woo! Right back at me. The end. You guys, take a bow. Great story. My pleasure. Good job, John. Thanks for your help. Man, John and Peter were so determined. You know, I think they'd keep going no matter what happened to them. Absolutely. They were going to tell everyone they came into contact with what they had heard Jesus say and what they had seen Jesus do. Right. Because when something's important, it's worth it to keep going even when it gets tough. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, that's all I got. Unless, do you guys need anything else? Uh... Nope. We don't need anything else, Kellen. Good. You could have warned me. Yeah. Bye, Kellen. All right. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Kellen got slimed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you? Uh, oh. I mean, why? Uh, Tell me your thoughts. I know what's coming next. Uh, oh, 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 you mean? Yeah. Reveal, Reveal the, the question. question! How are we supposed to, I, I mean, I mean, we can't say that without the, ew, ew. I know. Oh, wait, I've got it. What? What keeps you from finishing what you start? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it a difficult math problem? Is it that you don't think you're big enough or smart enough or strong enough? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. We made it! Yeah, we should do it this way every time. No! Okay. What an amazing Bible story. Can you believe those disciples? They were so committed to telling everybody about Jesus, even when it started to get them into trouble. You know, sometimes things are easy when they're good, but when things go bad, sometimes we give up. But God continued to give his disciples the strength they needed to keep on going. They pushed through even when things got hard because they had seen how knowing Jesus changed people's lives forever. That guy who couldn't walk and they healed him. He could walk again, and that was Jesus. They were so convinced that everybody needed to know about Jesus that they pushed through even when things got hard. So how about you? What keeps you from finishing what you start? I could think of lots of things that come up. But whatever it is for you, remember that God promised us a helper, the Holy Spirit, and he is with us all the time. All we need to do is ask. And you guys remember our memory verse this week? Paris is here to give us a hand. Paris? Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we do not give up. Galatians 6 9.
Thank you guys so much for joining me again this week for another lesson here at Nova Kids Online. Remember, when you have Jesus in your heart, he will never, ever leave you. He will always be there to help. Just talk to him in prayer. He's always ready to listen, and he wants to hear from you. Well, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you have a great week. Again, I'm Teacher Matt. Uh, we'll see you again next week. Uh, have a good time. Uh, the weather is getting nicer. Spring is here. Uh, enjoy some nice afternoons. Maybe get your bike out or get a ball, go outside and play. Uh, but it's time to enjoy the sunshine. So have a great day, guys. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.